Yeah. Meet Scott Nielsen and Bob Paul. Unlike most other inmates at the Washington County Purgatory, these guys spend their time outside in a garden instead of inside behind bars. Eight hours a day, usually pulling weeds. <laughs> Their weeds grow better than anything else. As state inmates incarcerated at the county jail in Hurricane, Scott and Bob are entrusted to tend the Purgatory Garden. Their main objective is to grow pumpkins for school kids. They began their mission back in July. You know, it's pretty easy. You just have to water and watch them. With a little help from Sylvester the cat, the pumpkins are now rodent-free and ripe, allowing for a harvest just in time for Halloween. This year, the crop of pumpkins has grown to around 1,200. The now 10-year tradition has become one of annual pride, growing purgatory pumpkins for school children. Uh, it gives. I think it gives their, their job a little bit more purpose, a little bit more meaning. Um, but they're actually growing something which they can hold and they can and pass on. Sheriff's deputies were just as excited to pass on those rewards to school children at Dixie Sun and Panorama Schools in St. George. You know, they have that issue of not always having a positive interaction with law enforcement, but uh, this gives us a chance to just kind of hang out with them and uh, give them something. I mean, the smiles on their faces when they get to come up to the trailer and pick out whichever pumpkin they want, it's a lot of fun. This tradition is even more exciting to the children. What kind of face is it gonna have? Probably a happy face. A happy face? Oh, what a nice pumpkin. We're so excited when they found out that they were going to receive their own pumpkins. And then our teachers decided to take it one step further because we didn't want to give kids knives and spoons to carve pumpkins, so today they're now decorating their pumpkins like their favorite storybook characters. I thought this one was, would be a good one because I'm doing DFG and I don't have anything for the nose and it has a flat size so I can just put it like this. And you can see by the looks on their faces and the smiles and the chatter that you can hear in the air that they are thrilled. How are you? It's so much fun for us to be able to do this. Thank you! Anytime you can make a kid happy is good. I'm real grateful to be able to, to do it. And while it may take some time, that's something these guys have plenty of right now. Melissa Anderson, CEC News.